Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming today. Let's give the Lord a round of applause for the great weather. <laughs> We're excited about the day. I want to thank you for coming today, and also I want to say a special thank you to all of our sponsors that we have, the Atlanta Braves, Frank Wren and John Sherrills. We appreciate your continued support. Also, BB&T, Reese Insurance, Gary Lagas, Brown Nelms & Company, David and Cindy Nelms, Chick-fil-A, Mr. and Mrs. Truett Cathy, Classic Canopies, Chad Fryer, Fairburn Ready Mix, Greg and Trent and Harold, Mizuno, Chuck Couch, Peachtree Special Risk Brokers, Tony Strayanese, Doug and Debbie Walker, Seals and Associates, Lamar Seals. Let's give them a round of applause for their sponsorship of our event. Also want to thank uh, our chairman of our golf committee, Jack Sintel. Jack, where are you? Raise your hand right over there. He did a fantastic job with our committee this year and all of our committee members, particularly Carl and Carol DeMarco. Carl, where are you? Thank you very much for your help and all of our gift items. I also want to thank all of our staff and volunteers who did a fantastic job. Also, we want to thank, uh, let's see, our breakfast this morning, Alan and Carla Queen, Chick-fil-A Dwarf House, Noonan, thank you very much. Our beverages this year, also provided by Brent Ragsdale and Gigi, we appreciate them. Thank you for the drinks. I also want to thank Mike and Teresa Schisler for our lunch on your cart today. Thank you very much for your support. And last but not least, I want to thank Greg Powell and Hambones Barbecue, donating the barbecue for later in the day. Thank you very much. You know, an event, event of this size and scope does not take place without some very special people. And we're grateful for the commitment and support of our good friends, Frank and Terry Wren of the Atlanta Braves. Frank and Terry, thank you for being with us. Please give a warm welcome to, to Frank and Terry Wren, Frank's Executive Vice President, General Manager of our hometown Atlanta Braves. And I vote for Frank Wren for the best general manager who got the Braves back to the playoffs this year. General Manager of the Year. He should be my agent. <laughs> great. I don't want to leave. I just want to thank all of you. And this is, uh, you know, we have such a great group of folks that are so loyal. I was talking with Danny Werfel just a second ago, and we were talking about a morning like this that we woke up to hell and high water. And everybody, I, I drove up and I figured, well, hopefully people will be here. And it was packed. And it's such a loyal group that continues to come out and support this event. And I, I want to thank all of our celebrities. You guys make it fun for all of our golfers. Thank you so much for coming out. Uh, I do want to make one special introduction. Our new manager, Freddie Gonzalez. All right. Thank you, Freddie. And also our new bench coach, Carlos Tosca. All right, Carlos. And I just appreciate all of our brave staff that continue to come out and be a big part of this. And most of all, we appreciate all of you golfers because you're what make it happen. You're the ones that have come back year after year and make this such a special event. And, and, uh, and we all know what a great cause it is. We know why we're doing it. And uh, it's an honor for Terry and I, this is my wife, Terry, uh, to be involved and, and to continue to support this, this great event and, and the great programs at Southwest Christian Care. So, thank you very much. We're excited this morning to have with us the wife of the late Jim Beecham. Let's welcome Pam Beecham. Smart Alec. I know that wasn't coming from Jim. <laughs> um, good morning and welcome for the 18th year. Um, some of you know the history of Jim's involvement with the tournament, but uh, we came here, came to the Braves. Jim was bench coach in 91. And in 92, Mike approached Jim about putting his name on a tournament so that they could start trying to raise money for the Hope House at Southwest Christian Care. And uh, of course, Jim, as humble as he was, those that really knew him, 
he said, why would they put my name? Nobody knows me. They got to put a player's name, blah, blah, blah. So we finally convinced him. And he had different players attached to the tournament name for several years. And then finally, as we know, players come and go. And um, Jim kept staying. So Mike says, let's just make it the Jim Beecham uh, Celebrity Golf Tournament. So that's the way it went on and on and it, it lasted for 15 years while Jim was alive. In 2007, Jim died with leukemia and ironic as it is, he ended up his last three days at Southwest Christian Care, which gave us a whole different perspective of what all this was about. So if none of, if there's any of you that have never been over there, you need to go visit and visit the Hope House and you'll know what your money that you play in this tournament really does. It's an awesome, awesome experience. And this morning when I woke up to terrible rain, terrible thunder, terrible lightning, I kind of raised my head to heaven and said, Jim, come on, get over it. <laughs> Oklahoma lost Saturday. They fell in the BCS, but we got to get on with the golf tournament today. So here we are, like I said, as a memorial tournament for the third year. This is the 18th year, and one, three things Jim asked of me as he was dying. And he said, take care of the kids and grandkids. Keep the golf tournament going. And don't spend too much money. <laughs> and I just told Frank, two out of three ain't bad, is it? <laughs> That's a pretty good batting average. So y'all have fun. And as I've said before, for Jim, he would be saying, have fun, keep it clean, and have a great day. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Pam. Welcome Janice Wright, our Director of Development, who's going to make a special presentation to Pam and Terry. Thank you. Everybody here knows behind a very good man there has to be a very strong and powerful woman. Over the years I've gotten to know Pam Beecham um, on a personal level and she was the most dedicated wife and right behind Jim in everything he did according to supporting uh, this golf event and uh, I mean I've seen her do a lot of things like stay up all night uh, and get uh, an auction items ready years ago so Pam uh, I would just like to for Mike's going to present you with this flower uh, just as a thank you for coming and supporting and for all the things that you've done for us and also um, for Terry I've gotten to know Terry the last several years and I want to tell you, she, um, her spirit and my spirit run the same way. That's all I can say is. And you know, Frank has a lot of responsibility in his job. And behind that is a woman that looks after the home and the children. So Terry, thank you so much for the support that you give Frank and for what you do for this ministry. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a photo right here. If y'all would just come up here with your flowers. Mike, yeah. just so real quick. All right. I would like to say that I do have um, a, one of our sons is here playing today, Cash, uh, son-in-law, Matt, and our dear friend that comes from New York every year, Nick Vitalo, and they're right back in the back. I just wanted to let you know Thank that you we do have some representatives for the family. Right. Mm -hmm. Have I got that in your face? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. Janice, come over to the side, please. Here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Careful going down. Also wanted to mention some of our honorary caddies today. Some of our Hope House children: Chase, Kyle, Kayla, Rashawn, Annette, Acacia, and Maggie. Let's give them a round of applause who are here today. At this time, I want to introduce one of my best friends for a lifetime, longtime pitcher in the uh, major leagues, uh, played high school ball with Rick, and uh, he's also the second 
uh, winning this left-handed pitcher in Cleveland Indian history. Please welcome for our invocation, Mr. Rick Waits, all the way from Arizona. I know we're all wanting to play golf, but I don't think we can start the day without thanking the Lord. Uh, I did want to say a few things. Uh, Mike and I played high school baseball together. He was a better pitcher. I admit it. He was a better pitcher. Uh, and, uh, you know, also, I grew up in uh, Southwest Christian Church. It was guys like Jim Dyer, Doc Harper, Mike, who led me to Christ back in uh, 1968. And uh, I got to see Southwest Christian, Christian City, Christian Hope. Christian Care Center, um, really from the foundation uh, of being built. My mom was a volunteer there for many, many years as she passed away in, in, Hope, in uh, Christian Hospice 16 years ago. So I'm thankful for everybody that's here because I've seen all the people that have gone through Christian Hospice. I've seen all the people that have come to this golf tournament and all the people have a deep love for the Lord to keep this tournament in keep it continuing so I want to thank all of you every single person here thank you so let us bow our heads now and go to the Lord Lord we're so thankful for this wonderful day early rain but Lord uh, you and Jim up there stopped the rain and uh, we got it going I want to thank you first for Mike and his staff all the many wonderful volunteers that are all over the place not only here but people behind the scenes that we don't see Lord, I want to thank you for all the people that take care of all the wonderful people over at Southwest Christian Hope, Christian City. Everything's connected with that. I want to thank you for Frank and Terry for putting their name on this tournament and standing up for you, Lord. And I especially want to thank Pam for being here this morning and, and sharing her thoughts with us. And uh, we do miss Jim. For those that, have, that are here this morning, Lord, we ask that you give us strength and courage, that you give us humbleness, that you give us gentleness. You give us all those wonderful things that exemplifies you, Lord, as we go through this day. And as we finish this day, may we not really think about who wins or who had the great shot, Lord, but how did we act in representing you, Lord, and the kids and the people that are over selfish Christian, the people that really need this tournament and us. So, Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for everyone being here. And we also last want to thank Cannon Gate Golf Club for continuing to work with us each year and putting this tournament on. So bless us, be with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you. All right. Thanks, All right. Thanks.